Hi, DIY is Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going over the BF error that you'll get on a uh, keypad with your Vista system or a 6F if you have a fixed English keypad. This error basically means that your communicator with the system is not communicating with AlarmNet 360, which is Honeywell servers on how we register these devices, uh, program them remotely, and then check upon them and do uh, troubleshooting. So for that error, a couple things can occur. Uh, first, as mentioned, it could be the communicator just not communicating at all with the servers. That could be IP drop if you're on an IP communicator. It could be cell communication is down. It could be the fact that the communicator just isn't enabled. It could be wired in, but you never set it up uh, within programming to be enabled. Or it could be as simple as the tamper cover on the communicator being open. Today we have the LTE XV. Uh, I'm going to attempt to replicate the BF error on our keypad by opening up the tamper. Now, the only issue is that sometimes it does take a while for these to kind of communicate with each other. But let's see. What actually might be better, I'm just going to power down our Vista real quick. I'm going to disconnect the communication wires. Power the Vista back on. And then this way, the panel should see right away that the communicator is not connected and it should show up that error. <clears throat> so I'll give that a couple seconds to start up. Here's the keypad. Usually boot up takes about 30 seconds to a minute, sometimes a little bit longer. But once it comes up, it should be showing either a communication failure error or the BF error. So we'll give that a couple seconds. Our tuxedo is booting up as well. That's there. And if all goes well, we'll be getting a com fail error. All right. So I'm just going to disarm the initial errors. And let's see. So these other errors are just other things with the system. Check RF is it's not finding any wireless receivers. Fire trouble is our fire zone isn't set up. The BF error doesn't seem to be showing up. But <clears throat> pretty much we're going to have to wait. So a BF error, as mentioned, it's when the communicator isn't communicating with AlarmNet. Usually how we set these systems up is that the system will check in on the communicator every 12 hours to see if it's communicating. We don't want to make this a 12-hour video, so we might be adding footage later on or not. But essentially, once the uh, servers realize that it's not communicating with the panel, you're going to be getting either a check com fail, a 103 com fail, or the BF error. Usually, it's right here on the top right of the screen. Oh, there we go. Check 103, long-range radio. And that's saying that we do not have communication with AlarmNet. A lot quicker than I thought. Uh, to resolve this, pretty much just make sure the communicator is set up properly, it's wired in properly. Uh, sometimes even data wires being reversed, data in to data in, data out to data out, which is incorrect. That can cause a, uh, a communication failure. Um, as mentioned as well, you can also go into programming and enable or disable the communicator. Uh, you want to make sure everything's wired in, everything's powered up, your cell communication is fine. We don't have an Ethernet cord into this one, but that's another thing to check that your network is up, the Ethernet cord is connected. And if all that is good and everything's set up properly, that error will go away after two consecutive disarms. We do have more information on our website, www.alarmgrid.com. You can certainly check that out, but we also have our YouTube channels as well. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want more information about more uh, setups in the future, please hit the bell so you can be notified on any new content. Thank you very much and have a good day.